Just uh, yesterday, my wife and I returned from Washington, D.C., where we were visiting some uh, my relatives, my brother and my sister, as I mentioned earlier. And um, I was, um, I wanted to show her, you know, she had never seen where her husband lived or anything about him. And uh, uh, I was a, um, a male husband, I think, wasn't I? I just knew nothing about me. Came through the mail. No. But uh, I took her to Washington, and we looked around at the Smithsonian thing, and we, uh, you know, all that. But it put me in mind, as we were passing by the uh, Arlington National Cemetery, and I thought, gosh, I wish I could take her up there, because most of my family's up there now. And uh, it put me in mind of um, uh, a December day, when I was 21, a blustery, wintry day, I, I climbed this hill. Uh, in those days, you couldn't drive that close to it, to your graves and everything. It was, I mean, the, where I was going, you, they had a little booth where you would tell the people who you were looking for, and they'd give you a pass, and they'd give you a map, and you'd go up and look for your graves. And it was cold as all get out, and I'd, and I'd never, never gone there before, I thought, you know. And so uh, I walked this hill, and... Uh, I just thought I'd never been colder in my life, and I thought of turning back, and I thought, well, my car is a long way off, and I think by this map I'm almost there, and I, and I walked, and I walked, and suddenly things started to look familiar to me, and I thought, this is, this is strange, because my parents died when I was just a little boy. I was about not even quite three, and, uh, and, I, and the collar pulled up tightly around my neck. That w wind was in my face. My nose was about to fall off. And, and I thought, gosh, I got to make quick work of this because I'm going to die out here, you know. And I, and I, I looked to, to my right, and all I could see was the back of these, backs of these headstones with numbers on them for as far as I could see. And I thought, oh, it's somewhere down there. And suddenly the wind broke a limb loose, and it, just an old dead limb came tumbling down and hit one of those uh, indistinct white stones and burst into 50 pieces, tiny little pieces. And I thought, I'll walk toward that stone, see what happened. And as I walked between the stones and I got closer and closer, I had this real feeling of energy coming inside of me. And I, I walked around the one that, had the, that the, uh, the limb had struck and it said, Marcel, wife of Randolph. And I looked next to that one and said, Randolph Lee. And I thought, well, I'll be darned. I'd walked right to my parents' grave. And I thought, <clears throat> all I could say was, well, hi. You know, I, didn't, I was so nervous by then. It was such a magical, mystical moment for me. And I left. That was when I was 21. And I walked down the hill quite a bit warmer than I had come up. And years later, I was sitting by my piano, and I was waiting for my, the muse to strike me, and I was hoping something would. And uh, I looked at some of my father's books that I keep near me always. I, and he was a political scientist, and he wrote a lot of, about the world. And I reached up and I grabbed one, and a, sort of a similar magical thing happened. His obituary fell out. I began to read it, almost clinically I did. And I read it, he was an adventurer. He was an, uh, an author. He was a clergyman, he had been a priest. He was a colonel in the army. He, and it went on and on like this. And I, he was an aide to a president. And I went, good grief. He said, what a great man. The greatest man I never knew. And so my friend Lang Martin and I wrote this song. The greatest man I never knew lived just down the hall. Every day we said hello, but never touched at all. He was in his 
paper I was in my room How was I to know He thought I hung the moon The greatest man I never knew Came home late every night He never had too much to say Too much was on his mind I never really knew him And now it seems so sad Everything he gave to us Took all he had Then the days turned into years And the memories to black and white He grew cold like an old winter wind Blowing across my life The greatest words I'd never heard I guess I'll never hear The man I thought could never die It's been dead almost a year He was good at business But there was business left to do He never said he loved me Guess he thought I knew Thank you.